Welcome to Rosalind's Kitchen. <clears throat> Today we are making shrimp Florentine uh, pasta with um, garlic and parmesan. Should be good. I'm adding shrimp to it because I don't while they sent me shrimp, they didn't say, they sent me eight ounces. And quite honestly, I don't think that's enough. Also, if the pasta they sent me was the spaghetti type, and as you all who watch me regularly know, that ain't gonna work. So I've got the little trumpet ones. I like them best, and they're cute, and they hold the sauce, and my dad can eat them well. Also, there's the light cream. The foretold pa parmesan, the parsley, the Mirapox broth concentrate, don't ask, I don't know, the garlic, the shallot, and the baby spinach. So, let's get to work on this. I have eight cups of water and two teaspoons of salt on the, uh, the stove to get them boiling for my pasta. So let us begin, shall we? All right, my first thing is to peel and mince my shallot. So I'm gonna cut the ends off and peel it. I'm actually gonna have an opportunity with this one to beat on two instead of just one. Um, proxy whatevers. And there was something I was thinking of that I should have beat on the last time, but now I've gone and forgotten it. So hopefully by the time I get to actually beating on this, I will remember what it was. Now I'm going to cut it in slices because this will make it easier to mince. At least that's the theory and then I'm going to cut it in fourths. Because while my mincer is really good, um, it just works better if the pieces are smaller to begin with, especially with something like a shallot. All right, so I'm going to use... Ah! <clears throat> I hate it when the, things like that happen. Okay, there. And there. <sighs> we are experiencing technical difficulties here. I'll be back. I can't really remember who it was or what it was that I was going to beat on before. But anyway. We're just going to beat on. Picture in your head whoever you would like to thump, and this is it. They are well thumped, I would say. Okay, so now that my shallot has been minced, I shall set it aside. Now, the next thing I need to do is coarse chop my spinach, which I have here. Now, my question is, do I want to coarse chop it all, or just say half of it? I haven't made up my mind yet. So let me first rinse it off, and then I'll be back. All right, so now my pasta is ready to go in my water and boil for about 12 minutes. All right, so my spinach has been washed off and dried, more or less. Now, to coarse chop it. Now, I've never quite 
I think, gotten the whole coarse chopping thing down. Basically, I just go at it like a brute, brute you know, uh, um, barbarian. And just kind of, you know, do some chop chop to it. Not quite sure what a coarse chop is supposed to look like, but that looks pretty coarse and pretty chopped. So there we go. It's now coarse chopped. <clears throat> and if any of you out there who are cooks notice that I did this wrong, feel free to comment and tell me how it is supposed to be coarse chopped out. I'm always open for advice. So, now I must mince my parsley. There's a lot of mincing going on. It says to mince the parsley stem and uh, leaves. So, get my little thing out. And, uh, Get my little bowl here, and I think that's a spinach, and let's just take it one stem at a time. <clears throat> this parsley really wants to get close to my scissors. All right, so we are mincing the, the parsley. And I'll be back. All right, now it's time to mince the garlic. Yet another chance to beat the crap out of something without actually doing any violent harm to anyone. A means of getting rid of your aggressions in a safe and controlled way. Still haven't figured out who it was that, I, or what it was that I was going to beat the snot out of before, but, oops, hang on. I need to go turn down the heat before my pasta overflows. All right, so picture the person or the political party or the family member or whoever or whatever really annoys you. And now, beat the snot out of them. Eh, not quite. We need to beat a bit more. There we go. All right, so. I get the feeling my phone is trying to fall off of my thing here. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Anyway. So now I have coarse chopped my spinach, minced my parsley, minced my garlic, and minced my shallots. Now it is time to pat dry my shrimp. So let's get at it. As always, I have to wonder when looking at shrimp, just how desperate did a person have to be to eat these things to begin with? I mean, I love them, don't get me wrong, but they're greasy gray and they look nasty. Who got the brilliant idea to, to con cook and consume these guys? Inquiring minds would like to know. All right, so now I have my pan, my shrimp to cook my shrimp in. My pasta is in the oven just kind of hanging out. It'll be added to the shrimp later. So now I'm heating the pan and then I'm going to cook my shrimp on one side for about two to three minutes. And then I will flip it over, add the shallot, add the garlic, and add my extra shrimp. And cook it for about mm, 60 seconds. Then I'll add the, sh the spinach, the cream, the parmesan, the yarn. You, you, you get what I'm saying. So let us, 
wait just a moment while it gets hot. All right, so now to add the shrimp. I'm going to try and do this fairly quickly so that none of the shrimp cooks more than the other shrimp, you know? Come on, let go. Let's give it two minutes. Because you don't want to overcook the shrimp. Because there's nothing nastier than a tough shrimp. And then we will go from there. All right, so now all of my shrimp has been added. Ah. I just got to get the garlic out. One of the things I do like about this one is that I can take the bottom out, so I'm not trying to dig it out of the, the corners of it. It's easier to get, like, out the garlic out and then get my shallot out. <clears throat> and now, cook you guys about one minute until you get aromatic. So, there we go. I like plenty of shrimp. I don't like to skimp on shrimp because if you're going to have a shrimp dinner, you should have shrimp. Like, lots of shrimp. So, there we are on shrimp. Now I add the spinach. And now I am supposed to cook these guys for, oh, two to three minutes. Just kind of get my shrimp in on the top of my bit. There we go. Yeah. And um, let's see. Until it's wilted. So. I'm going to give it two minutes. If I need more, I can always go more. I might not even go the whole two minutes, to be quite honest, because my sh my spinach is wilting nicely here, and I, again, do not want to overcook the shrimp. So, there we go. Alright, so now I add the cream, and I add the Parmesan, and it says to add some of the pasta water, but I'm going to hold off because adding my other shrimp seems to have added some moisture to it, so I want to make sure that I don't over add it, but if I need to, then, you know, I can. There we go. All right, now it's all in together. And I need to cook it until it gets slightly thick, it says. It's certainly looking good. Wish I could smell so I could tell what it smelled like, but you know, uh, if wishes were horses beggars would indeed ride. Now, one of the things I did not include when I was showing you in the ingredients is it also came with red pepper flakes. We will not be seeing any red pepper flakes in this because, well, quite honestly, neither my dad nor I are fans of red pepper flakes. So that will not be occurring. But I don't really think we need it because I think it'll be just fine without it. I might add a little regular pepper to it, but outside of that, I don't think it needs anything else. So we'll be back. 
All right, so we now return to my prep area to dish this up. And my dog is snuffing over there and she got a whiff of the pepper. And since I have noted before, my father is not a big fun fan of pasta. I'm not going to give him as much. So, but I am going to give him some sauce. There. And now I put the parsley on it. That seems like a lot of parsley for just this, but hey, who am I to judge? And this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it does look like. Now let's see what it tastes like. I'll be back. All right, so this one rates a very good, and my dad finally revealed to me how he does the judging. Excellent is something he'd want to eat every week. Very good, he could eat it every couple of weeks. Pretty good, about once a month. Good, maybe every other month. And okay, he'd rather never eat it again. So this one was a very good, and I personally thought it was delicious, but then again, I love shrimp. So there we are. Don't know if I'll see you again this weekend, but till next time I see you, peace out.